Hello there guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to another video review on this channel. Now it's time for reviewing the Vic A15 Pro, that new model into the pen tablet category. Now a lot of people get confused uh, looking at this tablet because they think that it's a display tablet like you feel that there is some sort of display over there which you can write upon that's not the case this is meant to be used with the computer or these days with the android compatible as well i'll get to that in a bit now this is a pen tablet meaning whatever you do on your computer using the mouse instead of mouse you can use the tablet for more comfortability which means let's say you are drawing let's say you are doing presentation let's say you are doing some kind of work which you want to feel quite natural while working upon that thing so that time this tablet can help you get the job done right so instead of using mouse which can't give you like smooth curves wherever you want or even for presentation purpose so instead of that you have this pen tablet which comes really handy because it has got a pen do any task on the computer pretty much any task on the computer very very easily so that's why this tablet now Wick has so many other tablets like the A30, A50 and this one is the A15 Pro, their new launch because it has got a dial which I'll come to that in a bit. So guys in this video I'm going to review the Wick A15 Pro pen tablet and tell you if it's worth the asking price and in the next video we'll be comparing it with the Wick A30 as well as Wick A50 and some other tablets like such as the Huion tablet as well. So guys the Wick A15 Pro is here so let's begin the review after this short intro. So guys check the video description for latest updated pricing sometimes it may go on sale or available as a deal so quickly let's look at the box and the packaging itself and what comes with the tablet so looking at the box itself it's quite compact as always and the design is very minimalistic the front is quite neat with branding and model name whereas if you look at the back there's pretty much nothing but the specification mentioned at the bottom left so the first thing you see when you open the box is the artist gloves which is fantastic that it comes with the tablet and you don't have to buy it separately now this gloves really helps prevent any stickiness from sweat while you draw or use the tablet uh, which is always nice because whenever you keep drawing on the tablet what happens is your palm rests on the tablet right so sometimes if it's sweaty you just can't move it precisely and very linear way that's why this gloves comes in really handy so inside the box you'll see the tablet itself so let's keep this aside for now there's this quick start guide telling you how to install drivers which is actually easy and one step process i'll also show you that and then there is this pen within the soft pouch or pen case you can say so the pen itself is quite plasticky compared to the pen you get with the a30 tablet because the a30 tablets pen feels quite plush and it feels very premium but it's also quite big now this one pen is slightly plasticky and we will keep this aside for now then you get the pen stand this time which is always good again you get this accessory inside the box itself for the price so it's good to see Vic has been listening to my review and feedback as well so now you can replace the nibs and keep the spare ones in the pen stand itself for easy and quick replacement which is fantastic you also get a whopping 28 number of nibs as a spare then there's this USB-C cable for obviously connecting it to the computer. Now looking at the tablet itself, so here's the dimension of the tablet which is really important because it's quite sleek in its form factor itself. As you can see the tablet is like 14.09 inches wide, 7.87 inches tall and has a thickness of mere 0.35 inches which is 9 millimeter. So it's that thin. The workspace area is standard. 10 by 6 inches now depending on what tablet you buy some tablets have very less workspace area because it consumes less space on the desk as well but still if you need a full-fledged tablet this is a 10 by 6 inches workspace area and for such a large workspace area the tablet doesn't feel so big and space consuming at all now the surface is matte obviously for the precision writing or drawing on the tablet the buttons doesn't wobble or fiddle it is plush and clicky and that's what makes you feel satisfied while working on it the tablet itself feels really slick and compact as well like i said earlier it also feels premium enough for the price so that's what is important right and uh, what's the function of this dial so when you rotate the dial you will feel the tactile clickiness so you'll know exactly how many times you have like zoomed in or zoomed out for example using any software if it was for a smooth rotation then you wouldn't feel satisfied to know what you did with the dial right so that's the case here with the wick tablet it feels very nice i like how the dial rotates and has a feel to it 
it's texturized too so that's uh, very nice of using this tablet there is a button on the dial now this is where it gets interesting as it makes uh, you feel very happy owning this tablet because it's so much customizable so the dial button has four press functions okay four press functions in the sense uh, it can be customized completely like if you keep pressing the button so there is four different ways that you can customize the dial itself dial button so press one time and the dial will uh, dial wheel can be used for zoom in and zoom out press the button twice and the function wheel changes as per your setting say it can be used to move the frame left or right in editing software or to slide presentation or so on depending on what application you are using now press the button again and the wheel can be customized also guys if you if you want to like use the wheel only for one software and don't want to cycle through buttons for a different function you can just set the dial button to invalid and boom the dial button automatically sets to only one time and one function again it's very customizable you can also set the button to open any software quickly which is really handy let's say i'm using photoshop and i quickly want to transit to like Premiere Pro or any other drawing software, just press the button and the software opens. So that's how customizable it is. The 12 hotkeys or the buttons again are completely customizable again for individual softwares. Example, you can set the button shortcuts for Photoshop and then change the shortcut keys for Premiere Pro and then change the keys for drawing apps like Krita or any other softwares. So it's completely customizable. I think I have said this customizable word so many times in this video. Uh, so on the software and guys, I'll tell you how to connect the tablet. So just go to Wic tablet website, click on the download and drivers, then download the software based on your operating system, either Windows or Mac. It does work with Mac operating system as well. So once you download the software, just connect the tablet to the computer using the cable provided then install the downloaded software and boom once it's finished open the software it will automatically recognize the tablet you have connected and then you can check the pressure sensitivity and uh, change the curve as per your liking right so one tip is like if you are facing any issue with the brush pressure sensitivity not working at all then just make sure to enable windows ink function and then try it it should then work there's also pen and mouse mode with sensitivity adjustment so if you use it as a pen then the entire workspace acts as a monitor's workspace area while in mouse mode you can just use it casually like a mouse without having to move the pen from like corner to corner which is awesome now the pen is battery free with reading height of 10 millimeter i think which is more than enough and it has two buttons and which is customizable too guys the only negative about this pen is like its nib tips feels quite lengthy and slightly wobbly inside like the pen tips groove itself also it doesn't feel very plush as compared to the tablet itself maybe cost cutting is done here i don't know so the pen is quite grippy of course and gets the job done now while drawing i didn't feel any issues with regard to how precisely it's responding as i draw so even the pressure sensitivity felt natural and organic as i was drawing in photoshop with different pressures um, now that's what you expect from the tablet so that should already tell you how good the tablet is and what more it is android compatible meaning just plug in usb otg to your mobile and then connect the tablet directly to the otg usb port and boom you can use the tablet on mobile so i have tried this with samsung as well as redmi phones and it worked flawlessly for me so make sure to use the tablet in a vertical way that is in portrait orientation and then you'll feel natural to operate within mobile the cursor itself brush strokes and everything else works properly so guys what's more to say about this tablet i think i have covered pretty much everything in this review if you have got any questions don't forget to leave that in the comment section down below so guys is this worth the money now you guys tell me because i think i have paid like uh, 7300 indian rupees at the time of this video so you keep checking the price which is updated in the video description of this video so i'll keep updating the latest updated pricing i think it's a great value for money tablet because there is not uh, really much to complain about there are other models too which i'll compare in another video so stay tuned for that uh, so guys i hope this review was helpful to you and helped with your purchase decision don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new Alright guys, I will see you all in another one. Till then, take care everyone. Bye-bye.